Well, I was just going to mention the fact that Jacques Carlos has a, uh, a bit of a pink flag on the side of his helmet. <laughs> a flag or a target? A bit of both, I think. Oh, the young quickie's going to um, make his presence felt. Morning, Jacques. 144 k's per hour. Gee, I think Australia have found something very, very special in this uh, youngster. He looks extraordinary to me. And some good carry through to Haddon to round off the over. 81 for two. And I can't expect a young man who's making his debut in Test cricket to be bowling from different sides. He needs to operate where he's comfortable as much as possible. Oh. So wicked delivery from Cummins really made Ralph uncomfortable for Joao Kellis there. Gone are the days of respecting your seniors. This is a proper bumper from Cummins. The old lawnmower delivery. It's got big on Kellis. I think it's made contact with the handle and then gone onto his chest. He did take the right hand off the bat to try and soften the blow. But that was the quickest ball he's bowled today. 145 kilometers per hour. And right in the throat region, that's where you want your short ball to go. Hard to believe, Patrick Cummins, he was just two years of age when Jacques Callis made his debut against England in Durban. Now he's playing against him. There's an interesting field setting that Australia have got here. They've got Michael Hussey. A lot closer to the, the bat at a, at a gully, and then it's almost like a backward point gully position. What do you think the thinking is there, H? Well, what do they call that? The one close is a, sort of a fly gully, hoping that um, the deeper guys for the more aggressive stroke from Callis give himself an opportunity to see it. I saw Graham Smith utilize a similar type of field to Philip Hughes. But Philip, but Philip Hughes is, well, he does look to get the ball through that square area. Yeah, and I suppose Jacques Callis would be prone also every once in a while to open the face of his bat, and if Cummins gets the ball to shape away, it will go airborne in that area. They've also got a man back on the, the hook for him. That's why you're seeing him peppering with the odd short delivery from time to time. Delivery, bit of shape. Callis plays and misses. 86 for two. You can have a comfortable lunch. Good delivery by Cummins. Good line and length to Jacques Callis. Jacques Callis who got off to an absolute flyer in the first innings. 50 came off in 37 deliveries. He's taken 18 deliveries just to get two this time round. I think the Australians have learned their lessons. I think a, there you go, 54, 41 deliveries, that was his first in his score. The Australians have been much more disciplined to him this time around. No free half volleys like they did in the first go. Got him! Fine delivery, great line of length. Kellis nicks off, comfortable catch in the slip for Clark. And Australia have struck again. The young man Cummins has done it again for his team. He really has bowled well from the caller drive in. Beautiful delivery, swinging away, finds the outside edge. Captain Clark takes a nice catch. He has been impressive this morning as Patrick Cummins. It's the big man, Jacques Callis. He's gone for two in South Africa, 90 for three. He's at the crease because of the dismissal of Jacques Callis. What a wonderful delivery from Cummins. Got the ball to bounce off a very good length, shaped away slightly. Callis sparred, got the outside edge. Let's have a look at Cummins' seam position on that. Now that's what he wants to find more of as his career goes on. If he can buy more deliveries like that, he's going to be very effective. Maybe the is now at the wicket. He was very positive. 
Cummins has got his tail up. You can almost see it. Just get the feeling, HC, that as his career goes on, you're going to see a few of those kind of dismissals. He's just knocked over Kellis. He has the seam movement just straightening up. I suppose if we're ultra critical of Jacques Kellis, you don't often see him wafting his bat outside there. This is what pace does to you. When someone is bowling the ball quicker than medium pace, and I can assure you, Patrick Cummins is that. The feet don't move as certainly as what they would normally. You sometimes spar at balls which you would normally let go. The adrenaline pumps through your veins. Good bumper. He has been impressive. Long career awaits. I might be a touch biased, but it's always nice to see a young man coming into test cricket, cranking it up over 140, cleared and close to 150, even if he is from Australia. Wonderful test so far. Someone had said to him, it's going to be your debut up until the third wicket's fallen for South Africa in their second innings. He would have jumped at that. I still feel like he's got a big part to play in this test match going forward. South Africa 60 ahead and three down. I think he's been the most dangerous of the Australian bowlers, certainly as far as test match caps is concerned. <laughs> he's into his first one. Siddle and Johnson have played a few. Johnson's been a little bit inconsistent. Siddle, well, he uh, he struggled from the uh, from the call at drive-in, was a little bit better from the golf course end, but Cummins, he's been the danger man. 